Why is it that every time I record one of these ranking videos, I'm so sleep deprived that the US government could probably classify me as a dead raccoon and feed me to the vultures? Today we're doing something a little bit different because I am tired of talking about men, I really am, and the only villager types I have left are men, so we are going to be ranking every single gyroid in Animal Crossing just so I can avoid talking about men. As always, we have our fun little tiers here. Starting at the top in our S tier spot, we have Margot Robbie Barbie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am gay. I am a homosexual. How could I not mention this? How could I not talk about this? I am losing my mind. I'm foaming at the mouth and quite honestly, you should be too. I don't even care. I want to see y'all going insane. I really do. I need to see it. Bask in the beauty of this right now. I am an 80s bitch. I love a good bowling alley carpet look, all right? That is my soul on the inside. I may look like an emo bitch on the outside and that's just because I am an emo 80s bitch on the inside, all right? That is the truth. That is the light. That is the way. And also, these funky little creatures were work perfectly with that. They really do. Look at these men. Look at them. Wouldn't you find them in the 80s? Wouldn't you find them rolling around on the bowling alley carpet? Next we have jelly sandals because I am tired of everyone pretending jelly sandals aren't a serve, aren't amazing, aren't incredible, aren't the most beautiful fashion statement you can make. I want to wear pink jelly sandals with glitter everywhere without getting made fun of. They remind me of a bitchy mean girl at Claire's. Will she get her ears pierced today? Yes, she will be getting her second ear piercing because she's cooler than everyone and she has jelly sandals. It's important. The trend of jelly sandals needs to come back or I will be wilting away like an old rose. I will. I don't mind. I will do it for the drama. I will do it for the absolute over-the-topness of it all. I will. Find me on a fainting couch in 20 minutes, I swear to God. Next, we have my closet organization system. It is very bad. There are clothes all over the floor, but it is mid-tier because of the fact that I know where everything is. All right, you know what? I may be stepping on my own clothes every time I go into the closet. I know exactly where my sweatshirt is. Exactly. Down to the exact coordinate, I could read it off like a fucking GPS. Trust me on this one. It works, but it's also ugly and it also reminds me that I have issues, so mid-tier. The concept of orange is our second to last tier because I like orange sometimes. I like a peachy orange, I like the idea of an orange, and then when I think about orange in my head, when I craft a picture of orange in my head, it makes me feel a certain type of way that I can only describe as when you just need a nap. When your body is this close to passing out, fainting, shutting down, that's how I feel about orange. I'm sorry for all the orange lovers out there, but it had to be done. It had to be said. And next we have a Wendy's after the apocalypse because I feel like the one place I wouldn't want to be after the apocalypse is a Wendy's because I feel like that is just the most eldritch horror thing you could see in your life, all right? It is incredibly terrifying to think of being like, hey, can I get a fucking square burger after the entire world has ended and that the cashier is a fucking zombie or whatever? That is my worst fear. I don't fear death. I don't fear the end of the world. The only thing I fear is being in Wendy's purgatory after I die. I hope you like all of these tiers. Let me know what you would put in the tiers down below if you want to. The first gyroid we have today, the very first one. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary people, please welcome to the stage Illuminoid. This guy is a fucking robot. This guy will take over the world with the AI shit. You seen the Google AI shit? He's behind that. We don't even know if it's real, but I know he wrote it. I know he had that idea in his head. He wants to see robots take over. He really does. He thinks it's cute and fun and quirky. He thinks that it's better for all of us to be taken over by robots, and you know what? Okay, maybe a robot could do my taxes better than I can, but that's just because I'm not a useful human being. I love the Illuminoid, though. I think he's really just a sewer. This guy is shaped like a fucking sewer. This guy is absolutely pumping some stuff. No, don't say that. No. Maybe he's keeping our water supply clean, but I can't tell you. I don't know what his intentions are. I really couldn't tell you what they are. He's nefarious in a way that he's almost not nefarious, which I like about him. I don't hate this guy. I don't love him either, and I don't want him to be the ruler of the world. I don't trust him enough for that. So I'm gonna put him in my closet organization system. I would keep an eye on him. You know, if he starts looking through your purse for your credit cards, run. Smash him up. Light him on fire. Melt him into a beautiful little jewelry piece, all right? Don't. Don't let this man into your life. Next, we have the Arphoid, which I believe is supposed to be like a little puppy. He's a little puppy man, which I love. I love that. I think that's the cutest thing in the entire world. He is a little bit evil looking. I feel like he is seen tragedies that we don't know of yet, like 30 years in the future, he is looking at those tragedies, and he is scared. He is scared. He doesn't know why humans do this, and he is terrified. Unfortunately, we can't do anything to help him. I don't feel like he should be in my home because he would make me sad that I cannot help this man. I do think he's adorable, though. Look at him. He's arfing the night away. Can you believe that? He is traumatized. He is 
is sad, but he is still orphan. He is still going, and that's more than I can say for myself. I'm not orphan, buddy. How the hell do you do it? He's so cute. He's terrifying a little bit, but I feel like he would star in a Nickelodeon show and everybody would love him, you know? Maybe he has some childhood actor trauma too. I'm gonna put him in jelly sandals. I really like this guy. I think he's so cute. I wish him the best. I really do. I hope he gets better. I hope he gets the help that he needs. He deserves it. He really does. I want to see this guy flourish. I want to see him get past whatever's holding him back. Next, we have the Babaloid. Oh my god, why is he so cute? He is adorable. His arms are stubbier than anything I've ever seen in my entire life. This guy makes crafts with like finger paint and stuff for fun and then they sell for $3,000 on eBay. Can you believe it? He's an artiste. He has made more art than Leonardo da Vinci and he has made more money off of it, okay? This guy is sick as hell. Oh my god, look at him. I just love that he is so insane. He's making a little face. He is just making the most insane face you've ever seen. I love this guy. Can you teach me your ways? What do you use for finger paint? Like, he probably makes those toddler finger paints with yogurt and food coloring. Good, we need more of him in this world. We really do. This guy is a top tier person. I want to give him a hug. I want to hold him in my arms and I want to cry, but in a good way and in a way that like almost comforts him because he knows he's made someone happy. I fucking love this guy. Oh my fucking god. Babaloid, can you babble to me? Can you talk to me for hours? Can you sing me to sleep? Margot Robbie Barbie. I'm sorry. I can't not do that. This guy is incredible. And not only that, but he comes in amazing color variations. Like, he is a pastel boy. He is so pastel and perfect. Next, we have the Bendoid, my beloved. This guy is just a little fucking castle. Can you believe it? He's housing people right now. There's people living in his walls, and that's amazing. He is so good at his job. He is a little bit shaped. I was gonna say something else, but you know, I just don't know what else to say. He is a little bit shaped. This guy is just a tiny bit shaped. He almost has a little bit of a taquito vibe to him, and I think that's great, and I think that's fun, but why? What was the idea behind that? You know, the architectural idea behind that. What is he doing? He looks like he worked for a food truck in like the mid-2010s when those were super popular, and he's still riding the high of that. He's still riding the high of taking all those orders and making all those things in a little truck. He's still doing that. Can you believe it? Oh my god. It's been years. Is he a good landlord? Lord, though that's the thing that's my issue here is he a good landlord is he taking care of his tenants is there such a thing as a good landlord how much are you charging buddy are you housing people for free or for profit I don't know what his intentions are as a landlord and I don't know if I can trust him or not I love this guy though just because I feel like his intentions might be a little bit nefarious because he is a landlord I'm gonna put him in the concept of orange I will reevaluate if I ever hear how much he charges for rent and if he's good to his tenants or not I cannot evaluate right now I can't I'm sorry blue boy his name is Blue Boyd. Oh my god, this guy just brings tears to my eyes. He just makes me feel like I have dunked myself in Vaseline. I don't know why. I can't express to you why that's what that makes me think of, and I'm sorry for inflicting that on you, but oh my god, he just- I'm gonna cry. Everything about this guy is so tear-inducing. I don't even know where he came from or what he's doing or what his goals are in life, but I hope he gets them. I really do. He's doing so good. This guy is incredible. He's fascinating. Look, he's got a little water droplet on the top of his head. What is he made of? Oh my god. I love this guy. He is so fucking cute. He does only have four color variations and like almost all of them are ugly, which is very sad. I hope that he is okay. I'm sorry that he has to deal with this but I hope that he is okay. But this blue is fantastic. This is a fantastic color. This is the quintessential blue void. I love this guy. Jelly sandals for sure. He's so cute. This is the boyoingoid. What am I doing with my life, by the way? That was just like a random question. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing? Huh? Does anybody have any answers? Does anybody have any idea where I'm going or what I'm gonna do in the future? I don't. This guy is a little too human for me. I don't really know what we're doing with this. It's a little odd, a little baby-like, a little like live action Pinocchio reminiscent, which is uncomfortable. You know, father, when can I leave to be on my own? Why is he a boy? Why is he a little boy? I said I wanted to get away from men. He's a cuter little boy. He's got personality. He's got style. But I just don't like that he is so human. It's making me a little uncomfortable. You know, gyroids are supposed to be gyroids. I don't like this guy. Concept of orange for sure. Not my favorite. Not the best. Not amazing. Not incredible. Doesn't make me want to like shout from the rooftops that I love him. Which is truly what this guy makes me do. I love you, bitch. Next we have the boomoid. I think that this one is really cool. Honestly, I think he is so 
unique he is so cool look at him go oh my god this guy is incredible has he worked at a cabela's maybe maybe he has maybe he hasn't maybe i'm assuming but this guy kind of gives me cabela's vibes maybe he thinks that i actually do want to hear about hunting i don't i hate hunting but he's cute he's really cool and i like his unique design he's pretty fun you know i feel like he would be good at parties a good guy at parties maybe you would take a couple poppers with me <laughs> don't say that on the internet this guy has absolutely banger different colors though and i am so proud of him for that i think he is doing an amazing job he is stylish he knows the style he knows how to make the drama happen i like him my closet organization system he's cute i want to know what he was inspired by actually because he's cool bruce stoyd bruce stoyd bitch it's bruce stoyd time it's fucking bruce stoyd time oh my god it is a tiny brewster gyroid not only are we honoring the beautiful amazing brewster by giving him his own gyroid we know he's gonna love it because he loves gyroids that is perfect this is everything to me this is why i wake up in the morning and why i go to sleep at night knowing that i will wake up the next morning and get to see bruce stoyd again he has small tiny glasses what are you seeing with that bitch shut up stop what are you seeing with those oh my god oh god top tier immediately margot robbie barbie i can't do this anymore if i even look at him for a second longer i will sob bloody fucking murder live on camera it is nasty it will be tears and snot so i'm just gonna stop next we have bubbleoid um wow this guy sure is looking like something this guy kind of reminds me of when you have ibs and you know it's really not a good day for that and you're just sitting there making that face that's the exact face you make when you're having ibs exactly when i down some milk which i almost never do this guy is what i feel like in my soul this guy is what my brain is saying this guy is how i feel i love him I I love him. He is representative of every single person with irritable bowel syndrome in the world. He kind of looks like he has a lemon juicer on his head, which is great. You know, you can do a double thing. You can be two things at once, and this guy is. I'm gonna put him in my closet organization system. I'm sorry, I have to do it. I really do have to do it. He's not perfect, and I don't like his color all that much. He's representation for a crowd that doesn't get much. This is the Bwongoid. <laughs> Bwongoid. Bwongoid. That is one singular letter away from Bongoid, which is very funny to me because I am a child and I like to laugh at things that aren't funny. What is he? Is my question. What is he? What is this guy? What is he made out of? Are those eyes and a mouth? Are they? Because they don't really look like it. I feel like he would kind of be a prop in like a Lord of the Rings movie, which is great. That's very fun for him. I hope he made a lot of money off of doing that but he's not for me he's really just not for me unfortunately i hate to say it he's just not for me i wish i loved this guy because he's cool he's engraved and shit that's fun everybody loves a little bit of engraved wood he would make a good cabinet but the concept of orange i'm sorry if you love this man i completely respect you i really do clatteroid happy pride month everyone happy fucking pride month because this guy is gay he's got the little sweater on he's got the little hat on which is incredible he is really out there campaigning for gay rights today i love him so much much. this guy look at him he's a little scared what happened to his mouth we don't know but i think the most important thing we need to understand right now is this guy has blush he has blush this little tiny man has blush on his cheeks now what now what now what are you supposed to do nothing you're supposed to cry cry really loud and hard and this guy wins at everything he is so sweet and kind to me every day he might be a little fucked up looking i don't care jelly sandals king of my heart i love you i love you and not only this but he comes in an emo version so there's that crumploid oh girl what happened oh my oh dear oh dear who did this to you i feel so bad who did this to her she is just so crumpled up and sad she is about to cry i can see the tears welling in her eyes who did this this is so mean who crumpled her up she could have been this and now she's this that's so sad somebody help her i feel so much pity for this baby she is so cute she needs so much help she really does i want to give it to her i will pay for your therapy my dear i will help you i will clean you up i promise she just like she hurts me she needs so much help oh my god i feel so bad my closet organization system i'm sorry babe we're gonna fix you up i promise we really are we're gonna help you you deserve it i know you don't think you deserve it but you deserve it you're perfect in every single way and i need you to understand that i really do this one has my favorite name actually i think this one absolutely has my favorite name this is the dutoid dutoid oh my god somebody was sitting in the nintendo offices and said we're gonna name this motherfucker dutoid that is incredible i love him so much and not only that he looks like a god 
goddamn Picasso painting. He's incredible. Look at him. He's got his little hand on his hip. Sassy ass motherfucker. I love the dudoid more than anything. You have to understand that this man is my favorite human being on earth. He's not a human. He's a gyroid. I don't care. When is he going to be president? When is he going to overthrow the government? This guy directed like three Quentin Tarantino movies and Quentin Tarantino just took credit for it. That's it. That's the tweet. This guy directed Kill Bill. I'm just saying he did. Drumoid. Okay. I kind of don't like the color palettes they chose for this and I feel like with a drumoid they could have done so much better with the design. You know, he looks a little bit like he is just a tiny German boy in the weed cave. That's the thing. That's what's bothering me about this man. He is so cute, but he is more Veggie Tales than anything. That's the problem. You know, I love a Veggie Tales motherfucker, but I think they could have done so much more with the drumoid concept. You know, he could have been something. We could have done this. And I think that this guy just isn't giving what he has to give. I'm sorry. Drumoid concept of orange. Good luck. Please give us your apron. <laughs> Please pack up your knives and go, King. Flutteroid. Hey, what the fuck? Why does he have hair? Hey, what the fuck? Why does he have hair? He has almost a mohawk, but to the side, and that's very interesting to me. I feel like that's a hairstyle I would definitely try out if I was going through a very hard time in my life, and I understand if he is, but you can't inflict that on others, buddy. You really can't. Why is my question. This color, the orange with the bright purple, ooh, I don't like it. I hate it. It's hurting my eyes. It's not my favorite. It's not making me happy. It's not sparking joy. I feel like he is definitely about to try and sell me a $300 skateboard and then say that I can ride it without any experience, but I can't and I'm about to break my hips. No thank you, Flutteroid. No thank you. A Wendy's after the apocalypse. Jingloid! I love that this guy is a little mosaic ass pool looking motherfucker. He is so cool. Oh my god. A little skirt, a little hat. That is incredible. That is everything to me. Why are you the shape of a pool? Why are you the stone pattern of a pool? We don't know. Is he gonna go swimming? Maybe. Maybe he's just a really good cosplayer and he's cosplaying as a pool. I love that. His face is so small. It's so so small it is tiny it is minuscule i love this man so much he's so cute oh my god why are his arms where his ears should be we don't know but i'm proud of him for that definitely works at a leslie's pools oh my god king 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 jelly sandals absolutely jelly sandals this guy makes me so happy from the inside out and i just think they should start prescribing him instead of antidepressants so there's that the laseroid looks a little bit evil to me i won't lie to you he is called the laseroid for a reason and that's because he's about to burn your eyebrows off he has no intention to kill you he just wants to get rid of your eyebrows so you have to draw them on every morning and you have to cry when you're drawing it on because you're late for work this guy just wants everybody's eyebrows to be gone he is singeing them off your face right now and i don't appreciate that. I don't think that's nice. I don't think that's very cool. I don't think that's very fun of you to do that. Everybody wants to keep their eyebrows the way they are. Stop doing that. It would be almost better if you just killed people. It would be almost better. What are you doing, Laseroid? What is this in your life that makes you want to do this, is my question. Concept of orange. Oinkoid. He's a fucking pig. Enough said. Enough said. Fucking pig. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's all I have to say. He's a fucking pig. If you don't understand, you don't understand, you know? It's just the way it is. He's a fucking pig all right he's a pig he's just a fucking pig pedaloid i love this guy however i just noticed that this gyroid this sweet innocent adorable gyroid is shaped like susan from youtube don't demonetize me he's not shaped in a way that i thought he would be shaped but i still love him i still love him i'm gonna ignore that i'm gonna ignore that but it's probably gonna infiltrate my idea of him now why is he shaped like that i love all of the color variations of this gyroid though they really went off with her she is so cute oh my god she's just making a little face she's like oh that's incredible. That's fantastic. What is she growing? We don't know. Maybe it's weed. We don't know. I love this bitch. Such a cutie. Adorable. Jelly sandals. Even with the fact that she looks like a cock. Okay? Even with that fact, I still love her. Rattaloid. Okay. I mean, this sure is a guy. This sure is a guy I've seen. You know, I'm a little threatened by him. I feel like he's coming after me. Like, I feel like he's gonna try and chomp my ear off in the middle of the night, specifically my ear. I just don't really think that he is safe to be around. I think he is coming for me. I think he wants to eat me. I think he is hungry and he craves blood. And I don't know what to do about that. I mean, I don't have any blood to feed him. Unfortunately, I just really don't. So... 
or when he's after the apocalypse. I feel like he's drinking up all the nuclear waste trying to fuel himself just to eat more people, you know? He is outside of the Wendy's drinking up the fryer oil. That's gross, man. I don't want to hear about that. I really don't want to hear about that. Please leave me and my wife alone. I'm begging. Get out of my house. The kids are scared. Next, we have the ringoid. This guy fucks. This guy fucks. Why is he shaped like that? I love it. He is Bob the Tomato, but like, yassified. He is. I'm sorry. I hate to bring that comparison to your mind. I hate to say it, but I can't not. I really can't not. This guy is incredible. Look at him. Where is he going in his life? He doesn't know. He's scared. He's terrified. He is on his way to get his bachelor's degree, but he doesn't even know what a bachelor's degree is. He was just told to get it, and now he's getting it. Good job on getting your education, but I am a little worried for you. I'm here for you at all times. I'm literally just a call away. My closet organization system. Love that guy. Hope he's okay. Next, we have the rumbloid. Rumbloid. That is very fun to say. I feel like my mouth enjoys saying that, you know? What is this guy? He is very interesting to me. I feel like he knows a lot more than we all do. He is very all-knowing. He is a being of the universe, but we don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We don't know if he's going to use it for evil or for good. And I think that's really interesting. I think it's fun that we can see that and we can kind of predict, maybe make some bets like we're betting on horses, you know? That's fun. Maybe he is a flesh-eating demon, maybe he's not. But I trust him enough to put my bet on that he's a good man. I would put my bet on that, for sure. I love this guy. He's so cute. Closet organization system. He is pretty okay. He is pretty okay. But you know what? That little bit inside of me still thinks that he has the capability in him to be evil, so I'm erring on the side of caution here. Next, we have Scatteroid. Oh my god, look at him. He just looks like a little coconut. Is he not adorable? Is he not adorable? Why is his hair tied up like that? It is because he doesn't understand how hair ties work, and he is just putting it on his head and hoping for the best. I truly think that he is going to overtake the government. This guy has definitely worked at a Hooters before, and like, I mean that in the nicest way possible. He definitely has worked at a Hooters, but like, as a manager, you know, he's out there watching, making sure everything's okay, but he is definitely a Hooters employee. I don't know what else to say about that. I really don't. You know. You know what I'm talking about. Absolutely you do. I'm gonna put him in the concept of orange. He's pretty okay. He's pretty okay, but not great. I just don't like the way he's looking at me. I just don't love it. I don't think it's great. I don't think he's looking at me with like any respect, so I'm just gonna move on from him, quite honestly. Next, we have the Spikenoid, our little cactus boy. I love cacti. I really do. I've been a cacti bitch my entire life. I live in Arizona, unfortunately, so I see a lot of them. He is so cute. He has a grass skirt on. Why? Why? For what? What are you hiding, bud? You're a gyroid. You got your whole gyrusy out? Is that the problem? Where did this guy come from? I do kind of hate that one of his variations is extremely evil looking, so it kind of gives me a little bit of worry, but I do like this guy. I think he's a really unique, fun, funky, fresh design, so I'm gonna put him in jelly sandals. He's really cute. I do like him a lot. Next, we have the Sproingoid. This is E.T. This is just fucking E.T. This is E.T. as a gyroid. He is coming. He is extraterrestrial. He has never been on this earth before until today, until we're talking to him right now. Can you believe it? He flew down here from the fucking moon. He was just on the moon before you could go up to the moon and see him. This guy fucks. I love this guy so much. He is so cute. He is so weird and odd and kooky, and I love that. I love him so much. Margot Robbie Barbie. I love this guy, okay? You can say I'm wrong. You can say I'm wrong. I'm not wrong, though. I I've never been wrong in my life, okay? Thank you. I don't have to say shit about that. I don't have to say shit. I don't have to explain that to you. I don't have to give you any kind of explanation. Oh my god. The squeakoid. The squeakoid. This is the gyroid of all time, all right? This is the top gyroid. This is everything to me. This is the reason that I have become the person I am today. The only reason I was ever able to start YouTube is because this gyroid pep-talked me into doing it. This gyroid is my mom, my dad, my grandma, everything. This gyroid raised me from the phoenix fucking ashes. I am a god because of this squeakoid. Thank you. The squeezoid. Is he okay? He looks like when I put on the wrong foundation and I try to scrub it off but it's still sitting there so there's just remnants of like powdery dried up shit on my face and I have to go out like that because it's two minutes until I have my appointment and I don't have time to wash off all of this foundation again so I just have to fucking go out looking dead and that's what he's doing and I don't know if it's like on purpose. Is it on purpose? Is it on purpose? Because that would change my answer a lot. What is he trying to do? Is he okay? I just don't like 
like him. I just don't trust him and I don't like him. I'm gonna put him in the concept of orange. Not my favorite. Not a boy I trust, you know. If you need help with your makeup, I'm here. I say as I'm not good at makeup, but I am here. The Stelloid. I love that this guy is shaped so fucking weird. I love him. Oh my god, what is he? What is this man? I love him so much. He is so alienistic. I love this guy. He reminds me of like a character I would draw when I was five and consider the thing that created the universe. This is him. This is him. I love him so much. And this guy comes in amazing colors. He's fucking incredible. I love everything about him and everything he does makes me proud. He could destroy the world in front of me and I would be proud of him. Jelly sandals. An absolute icon. Thwapoid! Okay. They should have named him Bloboid. I'm sorry, this is a blobfish. This is a goddamn blobfish. You know, you can't erase that. You can't erase the fact that he is a blobfish. Why didn't you name him Bloboid? That is my question. That is my piece. I want Nintendo to answer this immediately. I think I deserve answers. I think I deserve this. And I just want to know, why can't this man be mine? Why can't I be him? Why can't this be my final form as a human being? I love that he has a weird little thing on his head that looks like a hat made of skin. That's very weird. The Bloboid is truly, wow, I fully just used my own name for that. You know what? His name is Thwapoid, I guess. But the Thwapoid is my son. The Thwapoid, I raised him from infancy. Holy shit. Margot Robbie Barbie. A perfect boy. A perfect boy. Next, we have the Talkoid. I actually brought him up in my last video. Wow, we're going full circle. Oh my god. He just looks like a little clown. He looks like a little jack-in-the-box fucking clown. And I cannot love something more. I am a clown. He's a clown. We get along very well. We we know the world as it is because we are both this clowny ass bitch and I love him so much. Oh my god. Are those arms or hair? We don't know. We don't know. He's incredible. Pinocchio who? I created him in my own lab actually. This guy fucks. Thank you. Jelly sandals. Absolutely. I cannot even express to you what the tremoloid brings to my brain. I don't know what he- I do know. He reminds me of Gumby. This is fucking Gumby. This is Gumby. This guy is Gumby. For some reason, I just feel very emotionally connected to this man. I really do. Look at him. He's frowning. He sees something in the distance. He knows that things are coming and he can't tell us. He doesn't know how to express it to us. He is just insane. He is fucking shaped like a goddamn piece of bacon look at him. Oh my god. Whoever made this at Nintendo, can we be friends because I feel like you see my soul in a way that I don't. God. Margot Robbie Barbie. Incredible. Twangoid. Oh. Uh, wow. Um, I don't like this. It's very eldritch to me. It's very uncanny. I don't like it that much. I'm just uncomfortable with the energy we've created in the studio today. Why is he playing his own mouth? I don't like it. It makes me very weirded out. Does he even have a mouth? Is that actually a mouth or is it just strings? Ugh. No. A Wendy's after the apocalypse. That's very post-apocalyptic. I don't like it. He looks sick. He looks sick to his stomach that he's doing this. And I am also sick to my stomach that he's doing this. No, thank you. Walla boy. Oh my god, where is he going? We don't know. Holy shit, this guy is like the epitome of Pippi Longstocking's Halloween costumes, and I love that for him. He's a little ghost. He looks like a little ghost with weird little sock arms. That's incredible. That is beautiful to me. I find so much joy in this. I really do. I think he is perfect. But also, why is his sheet off-white? That makes me a little uncomfortable. What are you doing in there, buddy? Can you take a shower? Can you take a shower? Can you take a little shower? You look a little musty, my friend. A little musty, not that much musty. I'm gonna put him in my closet organization system, probably because he'd be buried around all the clothes that I have in there. Thank you. The Whirloid! Oh my god! This guy is just a little merry-go-round without the horses. Where are your horses, buddy? Are you holding them? Are you holding your horses? Where are they? Where are your horses? I'm obsessed with him. Oh my god. I want these all over my island just like menacingly staring at people being like, I am a little guy and you are not. Don't you want that? Don't you just crave that in your life? Don't you crave that kind of stability that a Whirloid could bring to you because I do I really do I think this guy is fucking incredible I want everything to do with him everything I want to be his lawyer I want to be his drug dealer I want to be everything for him I really do Margot Robbie Barbie Whistloid uh, this is a bong. Jelly sandals. This is that's a bong. I can't make any other comments I genuinely can't I'm sorry that is unoriginal He's a bong. He's a bong. Xylophoid. Oh, wow. Wow. 
oh i kind of liked him for a second and then i just started looking at him closer and it's like oh what's he doing i do like his little cowboy hat that's very cute but like what why is he lumpy he's kind of lumpy looking like a little bit expired looking i don't love that i think he is coming for me unfortunately like he reminds me of that feeling after you've like gotten really sick with a stomach bug and you just feel like you're an entire piece of balloon eh, a wendy's after the apocalypse i don't fucking think so unfortunately i just don't fucking think so i wish i did think so i really do because i want to support this gyroid i want to help him i want to be good to him but i can't you know i'm not the person i'm sorry that is every gyroid ranked. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I'm sorry that this wasn't the video I had planned. I had a villager hunt planned, but my technology completely malfunctioned and it was just not saveable. So you get this instead. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for 2000 subscribers again. I love you with my whole heart. Streaming has been so fun and making videos has just made my life so much better. I love you all so much. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that'll be down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, that'll be down below. If you want to join the channel, get a worm next to your name and get access to once a month podcast you totally can. I will see you next time. Stay safe. Stay wonderful. I love you dearly. I'm proud of you. You're doing great. Goodbye.